everyone collects data in the digital age. Uh, every company, uh, pretty much every company, has a website, and they know who comes to those websites and what they look at at the websites. Uh, when someone comes into your store, uh, they know exactly who that person is and what they buy, what they bought last month and what they're not buying this month. Uh, everyone, everyone collects this data, and that's simply known as first-party data. And that's data that's uniquely held by the company that collects it, the company that runs that consumer website, the company that runs that store. First-party data. Sometimes these first parties decide to run an advertising campaign, but they'd like to use more than just the data they collect. So they can partner with other collectors of data uh, and they can pool their information. A good example of that, and these are typically not competitors, uh, a good example of that might be uh, Dell is selling personal computers and Intel supplies the microprocessor to that personal computer and Microsoft supplies the operating system and Best Buy is a retailer. And they might combine all of their information they might pool all of their information together temporarily to run an advertising campaign tar uh, uh, and targeting people at different stages of buying a personal computer. So again, they pool all that information, put it into a database, and then they use that second party information, that second party information to target customers and get them to buy their products. And then there's this thing called third-party information, and that's this vast amount of data that, that, that's collected by millions of websites, and those people package and resell that data. Next slide, please. With all of this data, uh, we personalize experiences. If we, if we know about the customer who's coming to our website, we, we show them products that they're interested in buying on the very first page when they come to our website. If we're advertising to individuals and run a banner ad, pop a banner ad up uh, when they're browsing the internet, uh, that banner ad is targeted at that individual. We know how much they earn, you know, what, if they're male or female, where they live, and the kind of things they buy. So we target we use that information to target specific consumers. And the third thing that this data is absolutely critical for is if we run one of these ad campaigns targeting a specific group of individuals, let's say we identify a group of soda drinkers, let's say heavy soda drinkers, and we advertise them a new product, a new soda product we, we launch, we'd like to know if this ad campaign worked or didn't work. In other words, if we spent $10 million on the ad campaign, what kind of increase in sales did it drive? And that can be a bit tricky knowing because it might be an online ad campaign that we run at Facebook or Google or someplace like that, or it might be an email blast, but the product fulfillment could be offline at a grocery store. So when we talk about collecting this data, it's not simply the data that you know, we collect online at web stores. Also, clearly, we collect vast amounts of data uh, from p uh, point of sale systems. Uh, when people come into a grocery store and they buy this particular new soda, we've got to, we've got to recognize that and use that information uh, for subsequent targeting of that customer and measuring whether an existing ad campaign was successful or not successful. And we have to do this in the modern era. We have to do this better than our competitors.